Good morning. We are on Super Kids Unit 14, Week 2, and we're going to be talking about this story called The Winner's Mitt. First of all, what is a mitt? Think about it. What kinds of things, what does that mean? A mitt is something you play, use to play softball or baseball. If you're in the outfield or the infield, when you're not up for bat, you need to have a mitt so you can catch the ball. We're going to start with our words on page 137, and we're going to read the soft C words. When they talk about soft C, that means that the C doesn't sound like K. It sounds like S. So let's read them. City, mice, laces, face. All those C's don't sound like K. They sound like S. Center, twice, place. All the C's sound like S. Nice, fancy, price. Let's read those words one more time. Follow along with your finger and read them with me. All the C's are going to sound like s. City, mice, laces, face. Center, twice, place. Nice, fancy, price. Now look at our other words. This time we call it a soft G. So it doesn't sound like G, it sounds like J. Practice with me, not G, but J. So the first one says giants. The G sounded like J, giants. A J is huge and change. Each one of those G's sounds like J instead. Okay, so the winner's mitt. That's the title of our story. What do you think it's going to be about? Let's do a little prediction before we start and before we even see the picture. Probably someone is playing baseball or softball, huh? One of the super kids, I'm sure. Let's see which one. We're going to turn to page 153. So find the bottom of the page and turn your page to page 153. I marked mine, but I'll wait for you guys to get there. Everybody's on page 153. In this story, there's some quotation marks. Do you remember what quotation marks mean? Right, it means someone's talking. So when we're reading the story and we see the quotation marks, we need to try and sound like the person who would be talking. So read along with me and let's see how it goes. This is a Super Kids short, so it will only be two pages. Follow along with me. If you need to use your pointer finger, please do. The Winner's Mitt. Edibetta's softball team was about to play the Giants. She said, oh, there's a quotation mark. The Giants are the best team in the city. Edibetta looked at her mitt. I have had this mitt for ages, she said. It's a mess. Mice ate the laces. There is a huge rip in the center. I left it out in the rain twice. So it has spots in places. If you look at her mitt, it does look like it's torn up. I'm surprised she can catch a ball with that. Turn the page. Oh, she's shopping for a new one, huh? And this one's called the winner's mitt. Let's see. Edibetta looked at the mitt in the sports shop. The winner's mitt is nice and fancy, she said, but the price is too much. I have only three dollars and some change. Let's face it, I'm stuck with my mitt. Let's hope it's a winner's mitt 
two. Oh, I hope she wins. What could she do to solve that problem? Do you think she could maybe do some chores around the house and get paid? Or maybe she could borrow a, a friend's mint? We'll have to see what she does because something's gonna happen with a mint in the next story. Practice reading this story until it is easy for you to read. Just those two pages today. Page 153 and 154.